The Seahawks lose their third straight game as they fall the San Francisco 49ers 36-24. Tyler Jones here with you. Thanks for joining us here on our post-game report edition of Seattle Seahawks today. And this was an ugly one, folks. The Seahawks had plenty of opportunities in the fourth quarter. They had a chance to go take the lead. They stormed back. They made this an interesting game. But as the theme goes for this entire game, self-inflicted wounds. Two interceptions by Geno Smith. Couldn't really get the run game going again. Kenneth Walker ran the ball 14 times. He was held to 32 yards on the ground with a touchdown score. Tyler Lockett led the Seahawks in receiving with four catches for 65 yards as well as a touchdown. But I think the the overwhelming theme tonight, everybody's obviously going to point to the offensive line. The offensive line has its issues. That's no secret. But with Byron Murphy out tonight and this pass rush, again, was just simply non-existent. They had a total, folks, of zero sacks. They also had just a total of four QB hits. They could not get after Brock Purdy time and time again. Brock Purdy had a clean pocket for most of the night. And look, you're not going to beat many teams. You're especially not going to beat the Niners if you can't get after the quarterback. This Seahawks team, three in a row, man, like this this feels awful. This feels like this team's gotten very exposed. And now you have to wonder at this point, can they figure it out? Can they still be a playoff team? Are they contender? Are they for real or not? I have my doubts. I'm at my lowest point with this team I've been all season, if I'm going to be frank with you. You left with a couple injuries, too. The Seahawks find themselves shorthanded at corner now. Trey Brown with an ankle injury. Artie Burns with a toe injury. Those guys did not return. You were already shorthanded at the quarter, corner spot with no Rick Woolen tonight. Artie Burns, you called up from the practice squad. And now you lose him, too. I mean, it's... It's all bad right now, folks. This team has struggled the last few weeks. Offensive line sucks. Pass rush sucks. The corner room is shorthanded. I mean, all hell has broken loose. This is awful, this feeling. Losing a divisional game is always bad. That always stinks, especially against a rival. But losing it the way you did in a game that was winnable and then all those other things, this sucks. What's your one-word reaction to the Seahawks' performance against the Niners tonight? My one word is awful. I, I just feel awful right now. This is trending the wrong direction, considering how well you started this season 3-0, and how good this team looked, and now to lose three straight. This team has got a lot of soul-searching to do. They have to find themselves and say, are, are we going to Get this thing going again? Are we going to figure it out? Or are we just going to kneel over and let people, you know, rub our belly at this point? What's your one-word reaction? Let us know. Subscribe now to Seahawks today for the latest happenings on your favorite team all season long, win or lose. We have a great time. We had a heck of a watch party on Thursday night, and we're going to continue to bring you daily coverage you won't find anywhere else. Daily news and rumors, live shows every week, Watch parties throughout the season. We're closing in on 58,000 subscribers. We need your help. Subscribe now for free. You'll be glad you did. All right. Let's talk Geno now. First off, Ryan Grubb again. I am very furious with, disappointed with. There is just no reason. There is no reason whatsoever why... The Seahawks should be throwing the ball 52 times. And I get it. They were playing from behind, so part of that comes with the territory. But, my goodness, 52 pass attempts. Geno with some boneheaded interceptions tonight. Just some stupid plays in his part. Threw for over 300 yards. Yeah, you're going to lead the league in passing when you're throwing 50-plus times a game and throw for 300 yards. But if you don't have results, then that's a problem. And Tyler Lockett, you know, leading this team in receiving, he was fine. I would have liked to have seen more DK tonight. Would have liked to have seen more JSN tonight. He had five catches, 53 yards. But, my goodness, this offense, it took forever to get going. 
They didn't have their first touchdown of this game until they got bailed out by a kickoff return from from Chenault. And the offense, I mean, this is, this is a problem. And it doesn't look like it's going to get any better. Why are you not running the football more? Why are you not running the football more? This needs to be a run-first football team. And that falls on their play caller, Ryan Grubb, for not putting them in the position that they need to succeed and get this run game going. It's ludicrous. It's ridiculous that it's gotten to this point. Three turnovers tonight. Newsflash, you're not going to win many games when you don't win the turnover battle. And you can't give away three extra possessions to this Niners team. I know their record wasn't good going into tonight, but even then, you can't give them freebies. And that's what they did tonight. Got beat the hell out of when it came to time of possession. Offense, 358 yards, but that number's a bit misleading because a lot of it had to do when you were playing from behind. This offense started too slow. You can't start slow when you take on a team like San Francisco. And it was a bad sign when the Seahawks began this game, drive on down the field, and I'm saying to myself, I'm saying to Smitty, even if you take three here, we'll take it. Just get some points on the board. Set the tone early. And Geno throws a pick. Who was Seattle's MVP against San Francisco? This is a tough call because you didn't have too many standout players in a night like tonight. I guess maybe it's Chenault for the kick return. Who was it? Who's your vote? Who gets MVP tonight? Not a lot to choose from, but weigh in. Let us know in the comments section. Today's show is sponsored by Game Time. Game Time is the place to go for the best seats, the lowest prices guaranteed. Whether you're looking for tickets to sport events, concerts, theater productions, comedy shows, and more, Game Time has got you covered. Maybe you want tickets to a Seahawks game or you want to go to a Kraken game. They got it all for you, folks. You choose the event you want to go to. They got the prices listed. You choose your seat, see if you like that seat or not. And then you're checking out on Game Time with Apple Pay, Google Pay, Venmo, all major credit card providers. Game Time has a new feature called Game Time Picks that makes getting tickets to see your favorite teams play live even easier. Game Time Picks filters out the fluff to show you only incredible deals on great seats. So you don't have to waste time searching through thousands of tickets. They have their super deals. If you see a super deal, you can't pass up on that. They have their seat views. You can get the visual, see what that seat is like. Your purchase is covered with the most flexible customer service policy in the ticketing industry. Download the Game Time app, create an account, use code CHATSPORTS for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, create an account, redeem code C H A T S P O R T S for $20 off. Download Game Time today. What time is it? Game Time. The link is in the comments and the description of today's video. The defense was just atrocious, allowing for nearly 500 yards. Brock Purdy looked like Tom Brady out there. He did whatever he wanted to do. The run defense was atrocious. We have spent how many weeks on this program talking about the need to improve the run defense, and it looks like this team took so many steps backwards. I mean, it didn't matter who was running the ball for San Francisco. They still ran the ball extremely well and there was nothing the Seahawks could do about it. Jonathan Hankins was horrendous tonight. Jaron Reed was MIA. He was nowhere to be found. You might as well put him on a milk carton like a missing kid out there because he he was nowhere to be seen. This defense had no answers. They had no solutions for stopping this 49ers offense. And think about this, too. When they did slow down the Niners, when they did get some stops, it wasn't like the, the defense did anything special. The Niners gave them chances. They gave them opportunities. And the Seahawks team simply did not capitalize. If you're a Seahawks fan, you have to be disgusted with the performance we saw tonight. We can't sit here and say to ourselves, I'm cool with that. You know what? Uh, Had a chance. Lost a divisional game. The Niners did everything right. Everything well tonight. And you let that happen. I mean... My goodness, there, there is some soul searching this team needs to do. And some of you are going to say, like, well, we need to get Byron Murphy back. Hell, yeah, you need to get Byron Murphy back. But that's not going to solve everything. Byron Murphy can't play corner. I mean, Byron Murphy is only one part of the equation of the pass rush here. Would it be nice to have him? Sure, it would be. But, my goodness, you got a lot of issues. And, look, I love Mike McDonald. 
I, I'm, I'm glad he's the Seahawks head coach. But what do we talk about going into tonight? That if you were going to be honest with ourselves, we were going to sit here and say that, look, the talent level is not as good as San Francisco. They are a more talented team. The Seahawks, it's going to have to be scheme over talent. They're going to have to out-scheme Kyle Shanahan and this Niners team. The game plan on both sides was horrendous. This team was unprepared. This coaching staff did this Seahawks team no favors tonight. So while the players didn't perform and they didn't do their job, the coaching staff didn't help them out either. How did you grade tonight's performance? You didn't get blown out, so I guess it's not an F. But it doesn't feel good. It doesn't make me feel any better. What, what would your grade be? A, B, C, D, or F? I'll go with a D. I think that's fair. Um, give me your grade, A, B, C, D, or F, and let me know. For continuing Seahawks coverage, win or lose, we keep it real here on Seahawks today. We, we got a lot to talk about over the next couple of days. This Seahawks team, man, I'm hurting. I know you guys are hurting. We can drown our sorrows together. We got a lot to talk about over the next few days. Keep it locked in to Seahawks today, youtube.com slash Seahawks TV. I'm Tyler Jones. Thanks for joining us. I know that sucked. Believe me, it wasn't fun. But we'll do it again next time. Subscribe now. We'll see you next time.